Training is so important for this often technically demanding field. And to discuss how the Biophysical Society is providing workshops to do just that, I'm joined by Professor Henry Colcraft. And Professor Colcraft, what's the name of the workshop you're working in? What's in it? Well, it's called Chemical Biology Tools for Biophysics. And we have five speakers in there who will be talking about various aspects of chemical biology and protein engineering as applied to uh, molecular and cellular um, biophysics and protein structure function. And who should come to this session? Everyone. This is a general talk or general discussions that will be useful for everybody interested in molecular and cellular biophysics as it relates to protein structure function. So I think it will be very interesting for um, protein bio biophysicists because they can learn new tools to apply to their own questions. And just to reiterate, why is a workshop like this so useful? Why, why should people come out? Well, for every field, it's very important to get new tools and new strategies to answer questions that otherwise would be impenetrable. And this sort of um, workshop is very important for people to come in, learn about new things that they can apply to their own proteins of interest and ask questions in, in ways that they probably haven't thought of before. All right, well, thank you so much, Professor Colcraft, for your time. We've also got a preview of some of the speakers that's coming up. Let's take a look. The subject of my workshop is going to be applying chemical biology to a family of voltage-gated ion channels. And what I would mean by that is we would like to use this method as a means to encode new types of chemistries into ion channel proteins. What's particularly exciting about the work that I'm going to talk about is it involves a number of skill sets that cover a broad range of modern molecular biology and chemistry. So we're going to be talking about organic synthesis and the making of new types of amino acids and how we try to encode them genetically into ion channel proteins. So attendees will learn about chemistry, chemical biology, and electrophysiology. Stefan Pless from the University of Copenhagen. He'll be talking about protein splicing elements known as split intines and how these can be utilized to introduce synthetic peptides into proteins. We're talking about some technology we've been developing to kind of spy on spider toxins as they interact with proteins, uh, voltage-gated ion channels in the membrane to see what the channels themselves are doing through the, the eyes of a spider. I hope people get the kind of mechanistic idea of what we're working with, as well as a really good idea of the limitations of trying to look at uh, protein conformational change in this way, to, to inspire, but kind of ground in reality in terms of uh, what you can get out of this type of technique. Kimberly Beatty from Oregon Health Sciences University will be talking about using genetically encoded tags for fluorescence and electron microscopy. So in every field, new tools or new techniques is very essential to ask new questions and to gain new insights in ways that they haven't thought of before and advance the field. What I really enjoy and what I think is great about these types of workshops at the Biophysical Society meetings is it allows you to come and sit down for 20 minutes or, or a half an hour and really learn something new about a new area of research that's at the cutting edge of biophysics in 2020. You can get a more almost uh, informal, really, as I say, grounded discussion of what it takes to use these kind of techniques and how far you can push them and how far you can't. So please come to our workshop Tuesday night, 7.30 to 9.30 on chemical biology tools for biophysics. <laughs>